the defending champion in his sixth successive All England final. He's won three of them. Coincidentally, all his victories have come in even numbered years 1982, 1984, and 1986. And he's lost in the final in 1983 and 1985. Richard Subiato. Richard Subiato, the Iron Man from Indonesia, the 1983 world champion, a title, incidentally, that Morton Frost has never won. The young part of this match. Morton Frost, having reached the final without dropping a single game, and Hedy Kanaya won yesterday, taking nine points off Frost in the first game. That's the most number of points Frost has conceded in a single game en route to this final. Ichuk Sugiato, well, he had a battle with Steve Badley yesterday, a match that lasted over an hour and appearing in his first ever All England final. I wonder if he'll be allergic to Richard Sugiato at the end of this match, we shall see. And there is our umpire, Len Bauscher from Berkshire. Two boys just. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yonix All England the flight of the shuttle. men's singles final between on my left. They've already warmed Ichuk up, of course, Subiato, on Indonesia. An outside court. <laughs> and on my right, Morton Frost, Denmark. Well, no doubting who the favourite with the crowd is. Morton Frost to the serve. defending champion Love about to serve play. Morton Frost. Well, that was a good length service to start One the match. Lap. It had Sugiato in a moment of indecision. And then he played a short clear, which Frost nicely pushed away. Two love. Three love. Well, this final might be a case of irresistible force against immovable Service object. Over, and Frost. I don't three. think even his most ardent fans would claim to be the world's most exciting or flamboyant player, but he is. Absolutely resolute, and somehow Ichuk Sugiato has got to find a way to break break him down. That's right. Morton leaves no margin of error, playing shots Service quite over, safely free, inside the bounds of the court, and really makes it very difficult for players to return tight shots. And his defence is so strong that, in the end, they invariably get tired in trying to force their attack through. Service over, love three. So, Richard Sugiato with a chance to make some inroads into that three love lead. Frost has built up. Not on that service, though. Service over, three love. I think of the two players, Sugiato suffers more with the tension of the match, and therefore the early stages may not reflect how the game will progress. Frost in the first game and those who thought beforehand that this final would turn into a match of long rallies certainly had one then, longest of the match so far. Of 
looks like a couple of fences probing for weaknesses. That's good. That's good. Service over. Love four. Big difference in the style, Sugiato, much more One capable four. of injecting great power into his attack. Well, nobody wants to take the initiative. It's just swapping clears at the moment. And it's Frost who cracks. This must be quite disrupting for Frost because nobody, just nobody, normally takes him on at this style Two, of play. Four. Well, I wonder whether this is the tactic that Sugiato will employ, play Frost in his own game. Realising that he must inject some attack as well. Four, two. 17 strokes in that rally, and that was one of the shorter ones. Clips are taken, falls over. Service over, two, four. Sugiato, two, four, first game. well-developed legs of Sugiato will allow him to keep this up for a very long time. I've seen many All England finals, but I've never seen one such as this, where they're just prepared to clear, clear, clear. And Sugiato is getting the advantage. And 38 strokes in that rally. Three, four. Those who said it was going to be a war of attrition, Derek, seem to have had a point. That's right, but I don't believe anybody four, would expect four. such long negative rallies. Do you think Sugiato is gambling on the fact that he feels he's a fitter player than Frost and will just wear him down? Could well be. Certainly uh, he's fit enough to go the pace. And uh, up to now, it's, it's, it's paying off, I would say. When he wants to go up the gear, he's certainly capable of doing so. And I'm sure we'll see this later in the match. Certainly both going to know that they've been in a match after this one. Yes, a nice attacking clear there from Frost, putting Sugiato into so much pressure around the head that he nearly fell over on the clear. Presented Service Frost with an easy four, kill. Four.
Service over for all. Both players making it look very easy to clear from one end to the other, but as those who play the game will know that it's not quite that simple and quite a lot of power from the turning of forearm and wrist has to go into the shot to cover the full length of the court. Interesting to see how the, how the spectators finally react to this because neither man is actively going for outright winners. They're just waiting for the other to make a mistake as Sigiardo does there. Well, it's a bit of cat and mouse at the moment. Neither one wants to take the initiative, and the one that eventually gives in and goes for it seems to make a mistake. And that's four services now, during which no points have been won. Still four all first game. Sergiardo thought that was going out, realised too late it wasn't, and set up five, four. an easy kill for Morton Frost, 5-4. Seven, four. So after some tremendously long rallies, Morton manages to get three rather quick points and puts him into a 7-4 lead. Service over, 4-7. That's more like it. So it is a bit of pace, Five, something that we're used to seeing from Sugiati. Normally he's very deceptive and plays shots rather flat. Takes advantage of full angle. So because the tactics seven, he's employing so far are really alien to his normal game. Completely. It's the sort of thing that we expect from Frost, all right, but certainly not from Sigiato. That is the sort of play we Service expect from him, five, incisive seven. and powerful. I can only think that uh, it's within his tactical plan to work Morton and try and rub the sharp edge off before he goes up again and injects pace into his own game. Well, the pair have met 12 times in all. Frost has only won four of them. Uh, it's only fair to point out that most of those matches have been in conditions that would certainly favour the man from Indonesia. Having been level at 4 all for quite some time, Frost went 7-4 up, now it's 6-7. about a foot off the ground, indicates that he's going to smash and then slices through the shuttlecock to pull it cross-court down very steep. Seven. And tie the scores at seven points apiece in this first game. Sugiato got the hardest smash back there and so then missed the easy one. Seven, all. Once again, the serve Good. with Morton Frost. An errant patch of moisture is mopped off the court. Both these men working very, very hard. Yes, if uh, 
it's hard to appreciate that the shirts now are clinging to their bodies. Absolutely. And they're really perspiring quite profusely there, and of course it's now dropping onto the court, which is making the Thank conditions you. underfoot very slippy. Seven all. Well, there's one of Morton Frost's many supporters in this Wembley Arena this afternoon. player taking his base very far back in court. Clears very accurate. You can see there the Tsugiato's feet are right at the back of the court when he's playing that clear. And he has to stretch right up to the net. Some phenomenal movement going on there. It's extremely tiring when you're bending your body backwards to reach to a shot at the back of the court. It seems to Pump the air out of the lungs. Really a match of the purest so far, Derek. It certainly is. I mean, uh, it, it looks relatively simple, but it is very difficult to continually clear to the back of the court like that. I mean, it just looks so relaxed and confident, and doesn't it? You can see Sabiato's shirt sticking to his torso. And we're only halfway through the first game. It could go to three. Now we know why these players are training four and five hours every day, doing weight training for their leg and stomach and back muscles. And a lot of aerobic and anaerobic training in terms of work on the track and on the court. It's interesting that Morton Frost, although he doesn't actually practice the event, is capable of uh, Olympic qualifying height on the high jump, such as his capability as an athlete. Yes, in fact, he was uh, he was banned from competing as an amateur athlete because of the money he won uh, in badminton. That's right. So, athletics loss is certainly badminton's gain, although Richard Sugiato might not agree with that. Another of these long, probing rallies. I'm sure that both players are rather relieved that they're not playing out in the Far East. If they were, one of them could be dead by now. Yes, it certainly is a, a gruelling, gruelling first game. As I said, only halfway through it. 8-7, Frost leads. Sugiato leaves it much longer before attacking Frost. He's not going to have the strength to do so. I won't say Frost looks fresh as a daisy, but he looks uh, slightly better Nick than Sugiato at the moment. Out. 
10-7. So, 10-7. Frost edging in front again. Good smash, fine smash. Yeah, fine play by Frost. During those clearing rallies, Sugiato's under a lot more pressure than Frost. 11, Taking the shuttle a little behind him and then making it difficult for himself to move forward to cover the opening. 11-7 then, Morton Frost leads in this gruelling first game. Not quite ready. A sweat pouring off Sugiato now. Well, he should really be used to that, playing out in the Far East. I've uh, seen players there where so much perspiration's come from the body, it's gone Eight, down 11. into the shoes and actually overflowed from the top of the shoes onto the court. Change of racket, 9-11. Broken string. must do but he missed his chance a couple of inches out and another broken string these things seem to come in flurries Stuart please Stuart's been asked to come and wipe the court the perspiration is now dripping everywhere, particularly on Sugiato's side. Thank you. Thank you. 11-9. Well, it's Frost to serve, and it's 11-9, first game. Sugiato playing short, almost inviting Frost to smash, but he's not having any of it. Well, that's uh, how he does it at the end of a really Ruling rally, he manages to get an extra couple of feet off the ground to give him full angle, very steeply Service across over. court in the game. So Giotto to serve then at 9-11.
the crowd, I think, after being mesmerized by the clearing lorries, are now uh, starting to come to life. Service over, 11, 10. Well, that's what I expected him to do a, a lot more of earlier in the match. Service over, 10, Those 11. fast, flat, attacking shots, putting Frost and... Uh, a lot of pressure and stopping him from playing in just one gear. Service over. 11, 10. <laughs> 12, 10. And Frost edging ever nearer. The magic 15 point mark that would give him this first game. 12, 10. Well recovered by Sibiazzo. Well, a good pickup after an incredible net shot that just rolled over the tape. Sugiato got the smash back, but then misjudges it on the back line. What a pity. Thirteen ten. Game point. 14, game point. Another point error 10. for Sugiato trying that cross court half smash. Game. And that's the first game for the defending champion by 15 points to 10. And what? A lengthy and exhausting game that was. Could have a humdinger there for the purist. And I'm sure it must have First had its psychological on toll on Sugiato to have to work so hard and for so long to actually lose the first game. So his big problem now will be to put that first game out of his mind and concentrate on this next second game as though it was the first a fresh match it must be in his thoughts and Morton should likewise try and uh, probably employ similar tactics in this second game oh, a change of shirt for Sugiato and the Danes are in evidence I don't know what Morton Frost feels like inside, Derek, but he looks pretty fresh on the outside. He looks fresh on the outside, but uh, he must be feeling it. There's Second no game. way that you can uh, play for such a long time without a bit of lactic acid building up in the old muscles and Level. that Bang. buzz in the head with the effort that's gone into that first game. Well, Frost with the cushion of a game now. One love. And an early lead, one love. Do you think that we might see a change of tactics from Sugiato now? Well, I'm sure he should do. He really must change the tactics if he's going to stand a chance of winning. 
That's it. I think that's what he's going to do. He probably should have done that in the first game. Service over. Love one. Service fault call. Well, he's called a fault for the backhand service. Service uh, over. Racket head One, higher than the hand on impact. Morton, likewise with a backhand service, but not a fault. A great cross court drive. Two love. Assistance from the tape for Frost. Service over, two Puts love. him back in hand at two love. Three, I'm sure that wasn't love. intentional, that rather loose serve from Frost, but he got away with it. So as he did in the first game, Frost going into an early lead. He led four love at one stage in the first game, got pegged back to four all, and four all is where it stood for quite some time. Just Sugiata made the stretch too far forward at the net. Five, love. Just overreached on the lob. Suggest uh, Sugiardo is playing into the hands of Frost. This slow pace seems to be really suiting him. It's strange, isn't it, Derek? How, as we see so often, when one game lasts an inordinately long time, the second can be over in just a matter of moments. That's right. I'm just surprised that Sugiardo hasn't changed the tactics. He's so good at playing a flat game a fast game and uh, perhaps he's too tired but one would have thought that uh, a change of tactics a complete change would be necessary here Seven love to the defending champion. Seven love. Well, I think one's 
just got to say that uh, Morton Frost hasn't really put a foot wrong in the match so far. Hey, yes, the, the man who has won this title in 82, 84, 86. Now looks like adding 1987. Nine and love. joining the all-time list of greats. We think of great Danish players in the past, particularly Erland Cox, some 15 odd years ago. So that run of Frost's come to an end. Nine love now he leads. Service over. And love Sugiato, Hitchuk Sugiato, the 1983 world champion, now really has a mountain to climb. So patient is Frost, extending the rallies and then waiting Nine for the opportunity, which always seems to come along, that short lift, where he's able to clip it down very steeply. Well, unless something remarkable happens, Derek, it looks as though Morton is going to notch up title Nine. number four. Nine. Briefly speaking, how, how do you fit him in when you compare him to some of the uh, great All England winners of the past? Oh, that's really the uh, $50,000 question because it's one that's always asked and it's so difficult to compare eras because during the last 20 years there's been quite a lot of developments in the equipment that are that's used Service and over. indeed in no. the, the shuttlecocks, um, great developments in the, the standard of the gut strings and then the weight and balance of the rackets. So the game has certainly speeded up and it's therefore difficult to compare styles, but uh, on results alone, really, now compares to almost anyone. Yes. Ordinary players don't win four All England titles, and that's becoming increasingly more likely now. A terrific performance here that must put them in the same wow. league as the great Erlen Cups from Denmark and Rudy Hartono from Indonesia. Love. And it will certainly put Frost into uh, good heart for the World Championships coming up in China later this year. That's right. I'm sure he's actually changed his program. At one time, he used to play all the events to try and get to the top of the Grand Prix points table, but now he's just selecting the big ones, building up to the peak for those Whoa. major Love. events, like a champion racehorse almost for the big race. And... Uh, He's certainly showing us that he can do it today. And you can almost see that victory glint in Alden Frost's eyes. 12 love, second game. You see the reactions of the man. Extraordinary. The most extraordinary thing is he's almost inhuman and in that he hardly ever makes a mistake. It just isn't that easy to continually play shots back so accurately and so tightly, and yet somehow he seems to be able to do it. Well, just two points away is Morton Frost from his fourth title. The check that goes with it for £2,000. Match point. I mean, to get 14 points without the opposition even scoring when you're playing a 1983 wow. world champion it's just got to be incredible it certainly is match point yeah. and we salute once again the great Morton Frost his fourth all England title he has beaten worn down Ichuk Sugiato of Indonesia, 15-10, 
15 love.